you show your elbow again? I mean, it's not too much to show. You know, it's just kind of... I still have the, um, whatever this is called, butterfly tape or something. That's kind of on my, on my incision there. Um, they told me not to take it off until it starts falling off. One piece is already falling off, as you can see. This one right here. This piece is already falling off, so I could probably take this off. But I'll wait, like, one more day until it, like, really kind of falls off. But... Where the fuck I am? What's up, boom? How is how is EFT? Let's check let's check EFT. Let's do like one raid of EFT and see how it is. It looks bad but healing yay. <laughs> yeah. When I went to the movies I forgot that my arm was broken. Where the fuck I am. So I just instinctively tried to hold a door open with my left arm. It hurt a little bit. You know, it hurt a little bit. And then, you know that feeling when you have something like running, like, like a piece of cloth kind of like running against your arm and it feels like it's a bug on your arm? So that's what happened on my left arm. I was eating food with my right arm and then on my left arm, it felt like something was there. I looked down, it looked like something was on my arm. And you know how you flinch? I did that too. That also hurt. <laughs> I did that within like... An hour of each other kind of sucked. Where the fuck I am? I'm here to clean your house every day till I die. Um, what? Mm. All right, chat. Take a little break. Damn, that elbow looks mucked. Um, mucked? It's actually, it doesn't look too bad. I have this tape on. They told me to keep it on until it, pop, like, falls off and it's starting to fall off. And then it's just kind of bruised. That's it. Like, it isn't too bad. Everything's just kind of bruised. It's healed. It's healed really well. Like, everything's scabbing. Like, all the scabs and shit. Even on my incision. Like, my incision doesn't even look that bad anymore. It's just scabbed up. Everything's going to kind of, like... Oh, everything's going to kind of look good probably in like one more week. One or two more weeks, I think like everything's going to look pretty good. I would, I would assume one week and then the scab is going to kind of like normally just peel off and then my skin's going to be pretty much back. It looks like someone bit you. How much movement do you have? Not that much, you know, like, I could, like, obviously have it go straight, and then I could kind of, I could bend it a little bit. See what I'm saying? I could kind of bend it. So I got Where some movement okay. right now. Um, the main thing that hurts is my fucking wrist. Because if I twist like this, I can't even do it normally. Look, look at when I try to twist my wrist normally. This is me trying to, this is me trying to twist my wrist like this. Our game descended, Mike. I can't do it. So I can't, like, I can't pass this right now. It hurts too fucking bad. Um, and it's like a pain that goes from, like, the side of my wrist all the way up my arm. I really don't know what it is, to be honest. It hasn't gotten any better. Well, it does. I don't get it. Like, some days it's better than others. Like, just, just like two days ago, I was actually able to twist my wrist like this. I got this far. Just two days ago, I twisted it like that. But now, it's back to being stuck like this. So I don't know if it's, like, stiff, and I need to, like, fucking, like, fight through the pain. I have no idea. Where the fuck I am? Michael. Hello. Hello. Is Justin on? I don't know. So we're gonna go to Walmart, I guess? I mean, I might as well come. Two, fuck it. Ah. Uh, I just don't know if I should like go out like this with my arm just fucking out there or 
So I should at least cover it up so people don't have to see it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just like bruised up and shit. That's not blood, in case you're wondering. It's just bruised. It's a nice red, pink, pinkish bruise. It's not bleeding anymore. The wound's fully closed. There's no chance it can bleed. Just abandons me. Whatever, dude. You left this house. Don't speak anymore. Don't ever speak again. Who left? You left. Enough said. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Remember that. You left. Not me. You. How often do you wear your brace? I mean, I got it yesterday. So, I've only worn it for like an hour. I should probably wear it again today. Where my, my, uh... I, I talked with my my doctor and he said um i told him like i had it locked on 60 degrees which is probably like i would say 60 degrees is like that maybe which is actually pretty good i was actually impressed that i even got to this um point and then he said don't don't try to don't don't push it past 60 yet it's a little early he didn't even know how i got to 60 i said fuck it dude i just pulled that bitch in there but he said, don't pass 60 for a little bit. Just kind of leave it on 60 in the brace. I'm like, okay. 60 degrees, not even close. <laughs> was that not 60? Maybe this was 60 instead? Maybe that? How about that? Maybe like... Yeah, that, that's about 60, right? Ish. Where the fuck I am? Dude, we have such different orders. Can you not fully extend your arm? Not, I mean, I can, but I can't do it normally. Like, I can't just stand here. I can't just stand here and just like, fucking. Where the fuck I am? This is about all I can do normally. You know? Where the fuck I am? I can't, I can't do it any more than that normally. The only way I can actually extend my arm is if I put it Where on like a pillow and then I just kind of let it drop. And then when it drops, obviously gravity will just pull it down. That's Where the only, I can't do it normally. It's literally impossible. Like, all I can do normally is about this and about like here ish. And then to get it any further than this, I have to actually pull on my elbow when it's put in the brace and just pull on it, pull on it, pull on it. But that's all I can do right now. Unfortunately. That level of extension is really good, Mike. Trust me. That's what, my, yeah, that's what my doctor said too. He said that like usually it's the other way around. Like usually extension's really hard, but he says like I can extend pretty well for the most part. Apparently, he said extension is really difficult to do normally. So I guess maybe I'm lucky on that regard. Maybe. I don't know. What the fuck's wrong with your butt? You got padding or something? I got a big butt, okay? You got you got you wanna see it? I'll get it right that right up to the camera. I got a little bubble butt. If I was a girl, dude, whoo! I'd slay. I had a hard time getting my extension back to anything. Really. So it's easier to yeah, he said it's easier to flex than extend. So he said I'm doing really good on the extension. But yeah, it's crazy how we got different orders, isn't it? How yours were to just fucking push it as hard as you can. My doctor doesn't, I don't think he wants to do that just in case, maybe. I mean, it depends, right? Like, what if we probably had two different breaks? Who knows, you know? We're not fucking surgeons. <laughs> 